Welcome to today's webinar with the title Word Electronic Advanced Solution Center. You need a special printed circuit board. We make it possible. The speaker of today's webinar is Mr. Jürgen Wolf, Head of Advanced Solution Center. And now I wish you lots of fun and new information. Thank you, Andreas, for this uh, kind introduction. And I will directly start with today's webinar. What do I want to show you today? So let's have a look on the agenda. So first, I will give you a short introduction to the meaning of the Advanced Solution Center. So what do we want to do with it? I will give you some broad insights into the first stage of uh, what we do with the Advanced Solution Center. Some slides about embedding of components and stretch flex. You've seen this already in previous webinars, just to, to remind you what we do in these technologies. But what is more interesting is then the, the fourth part where we look on to technology partners and what we do with them. And in the end, we have a short summary. So let's start directly. Um, before we start, sorry about that, um, I want to give you just a slide about myself. Um, maybe you've already been in contact with me or you've seen my other webinars about embedding or stretch flex or about cost reduction and cost figures in PCBs. If not, um, I'm Jürgen Wolf. I'm the head of the Advanced Solution Center here at Wood Electronic and therefore I am responsible for the technology of embedding of components as well as for the stretchable PCBs. In that function, I support our sales team and I'm responsible internally for the qualification planning and the further development of these technologies. I'm with Word Electronic since 2008 and you can see my contact details here if you want to contact me after the webinar. So what exactly is the Advanced Solution Center? And on this picture, you see um, the um, University of Künzlisau, basically, where we have a cooperation going on since, I would say, a little bit more than a year. Uh, the Research Innovation Center of Food Electronic is located there, and in that progress and in that thinking, we were thinking about this Advanced Solution Center as well to use the knowledge, what we get here, to provide you with new solutions. So the Advanced Solution Center is basically really technology oriented. We want to give you new possibilities when it comes to technology. It's very customer oriented. So we are looking on what you need and try to find a solution for your needs. And that's why it's solution oriented. And it is additionally after restructuring our R&D department, it's a new part, the development part of our R&D. Why did we choose to create an advanced solution center? So we want to offer basically even more to that what we already offer today. So we want to offer even complex and technological products. And we are having a look on them and try to find a way how to either manufacture them by ourselves by talking with our technical project teams and try to find a solution, even if it's not in our today's standard portfolio. If this is not the case, or if we cannot produce it by ourselves, we try to find a partner, or maybe we already have a partner who can manufacture these boards on our behalf so that you get the board and the solution you want to have. Your advantage basically is that you can have fewer contacts for your PCB specific questions. So we want to find a solution for each single PCB problem you have. <clears throat> and so you can concentrate basically on what is most important to you. And this is your application and how to get your application running and to the market. We will deal with the PCB. And to do this, you can benefit fully from our techno technological know-how, which is really huge. We are on the market for, for a very long time. It's almost 50 years that we are on the market. And uh, therefore, we have a very huge know-how and you benefit from that because we are looking on your data, see if there is someone out there who can manufacture your board, either it's by us 
or it's by a partner. And it's always uh, that we look if, if this is a series production, what we can offer, not just a, a prototyping where you get a yield of only 20%. So we are looking onto a series production in that case. And if this is not the case, we provide you with our knowledge what needs to be changed that it can be manufactured in a series production. So here you see the structure of the ASC, the Advanced Solutions Center. We start with the figure more technology. The second stage will be more layout. And the third stage in implementation will be the more know-how. More technology means that we are on the one hand looking on our own high technologies, which would be stretch flex and uh, embedding of components. And that we are looking and see and try to find a way how to adapt our standard technologies to um, comply to your needs. So to see what is needed to be done in our fabs so that we might be able to produce your board together with our technical project teams. If this is not the case, then we get third parties involved and try to find a way for each technology that we cannot fulfill by ourselves. And later in the webinar, you will see examples what I mean with that. The second stage, which will be rolled out then, will deal with layouts. So we want to handle complete layouts, not complete developments, but uh, layouts based on the already given development. Then we want to do analysis and simulations like thermal simulations, power distribution network analysis, and so on. And we want to offer layout adjustments. For example, if your layout department doesn't have enough time and is um, just full and you will get a date like in half a year at, uh, before and you need to have something changed immediately, then we will try to give you this opportunity in future. And then we will come to the point, uh, the third stage, the know-how stage. We want to invest more into consulting, training, on-site training, and bookable online seminars. So if there are topics about the PCB, we want to offer either consulting, training, or online seminars about these topics. So how will this be implemented? Um, as I already said, it's planned in three different stages. And the first stage is already um, up and running. So we already started a first cooperation with a partner for high technologies. In addition to the partners we already have in our standard Asia production portfolio, where we are looking for high technologies and advanced technologies. And we already started with technology consulting. The second stage, which will be probably being rolled out beginning of next year, is the layout service. And here we are working together with our with electronic systems engineering service in India. In India, we are having a team of uh, several layouters already sitting, which are offering layout services for the Indian and Asian market. And we want to expand that to the European market. And the Advanced Solution Center here will act as a port of support so that you have a European contact person as well, not an Indian one. And the third stage will be the know-how sector where we really try to establish a training program and several courses which you can attend or um, plan to attend so that you can build up your knowledge and the knowledge of your colleagues when it comes to PCB related topics. So let's have a first look into what we do already for the embedding. And since I have given several webinars and since we have a lot of information about that already on our website, just two slides to remind you what we are doing. So we are offering three different technologies, um, how components can be embedded into printed circuit boards. On the left side, you see the one where we take bare dies and dedicated passives and contact them with microvias. In the middle, you see that we can solder components directly onto inner layer cores and embed them into the PCB. And on the right side, you see that we offer a specific flip chip process where we mount bare dies, stud bumped bare dies with an anisotropic conductive adhesive onto inner layer cores. The advantages you get out of this technology, well, 
first of all, it's a big step in miniaturization. You can either create your own package or you can uh, save space on the outer layers for assembly area by putting components inside. You can have additional performance and function um, with an integrated shielding that you can use the copper and the wires from the PCB to shield your components. You can have short signal paths. Your signal paths you can plan now in a real three-dimensional way, not only on top and bottom layer, but by putting, for example, decaps underneath active components. And you can hide components uh, inside the board so that uh, plagiarism, uh, plagiarism is prevented a little bit, or at least a little bit, depending on which layer you want to go and to which level you want to do this. But you can hide components so that it's not that easy to re-engineer your PCB. And the last point is the reliability itself. You have a protection against environmental influences. And the last point is really interesting, uh, thermal management, especially when you look on the microwire connecting technology, you can contact the component directly with copper and have a direct heat path from the component into the copper of the PCB and spread the heat out to the side and to the back or wherever you want to have it, depending on your layout and your planning. For more information, as I already said, we have a lot of uh, webinars already on that topic. Just please visit our website um, with uh, slash embedding and you get directly to the landing page of the embedding department. If you want to see it in real, you can even order some samples from us where we embedded just a few components for you to show how this technology actually looks like. So let's move on with uh, the StretchFlex technology as again, just two slides to remind you. The concept basically is that that we use a new material. It's a thermoplastic polyurethane. Um, this is being copper clad on both sides, top and bottom. So we get a new substrate and we work with that. And by structuring the copper into tracks, into meander formed tracks, we can get the specific stretchability like you see here in this movie. This board is flexible and stretchable and depending on the layout structure, on the meanders or whatever we choose here together with you, you can get a dynamic stretchability of around 5 to even 20 percent. The material itself is very adaptable and almost every shape can be realized and Due to the stretchability, flexibility, and adaptability, it has a lot of further processing options. For example, by combining it with PC, you can thermoform it or deep draw it. You can put it into back injection molding, or you can even laminate it onto different surfaces. For example, you can laminate it onto textiles so that the stretchability of the textile is not um, or is the same as the stretchability of this flex PCB, and you won't have any problems with the stretchability of the textile. The material properties, well, there is, since this is a new material and extensive testing necessary, what actually can be done. But what we already see is that you can have multiple rotations and dynamic stretchability. It's a very skin friendly material. It has a softening range between 155 and 185 degrees Celsius. And you might see that um, this is rather low compared to standard PCB, so you cannot solder it with a standard solder machine and a standard solder process. But by using of low temperature solder paste, which melt at around 138 to 140 degrees Celsius, you can even assemble it in a standard reflow equipment. The fields of application, well, I would say 80% of our current projects are dealing with medical technologies for for example, implants, but we have smart textile applications as well as sensor technology applications or Internet of Things and wearable technologies. If you're interested in this new material and in this new way how to build PCBs, we again, as always, can offer you some samples which can be ordered by us. And if you're interested into more details, you can have, can have a look on our website as well, and you can watch um, the webinar which I have given about this technology uh, end of last year. 
So let's come to the really new point, what we want to offer. So we want to look into your application and into your needs. So together with our technical project teams or with our technology partners, we try to find a way how your PCB can be manufactured, even if it doesn't comply with our existing standard portfolio. So if this is, for example, a multi-layer up to 60 layers, or if this is an any-layer HDI with stacked or stacked microwires, or even heavy copper, and we already can offer heavy copper boards up to 400 microliters with UL, or if this is a copper bus bar inlay or a copper coin application, high frequency microwave circuits or very fine structuring with technologies down to 50 micron line and space. Or we are even looking for manufacturer at the moment who could offer us IC substrate capabilities. So we want to further expand these options. And thin, since we are a little bit nosy, I want to have a short question and a short poll for you. And I would like to know which technology you would like us to offer to you and what need you have. And therefore, I would like you, Andreas, to switch over to the poll function. You see these answers. And if there is something on the list which you want to have from us and which we didn't list here, just feel free to put it either into our question section or you can contact our sales team or can contact me after the webinar with the contact details given, and then we will try to find a solution for your need, even if this is not on the list, what you see here. Okay, so Paul is running and you're quite active. We will wait another, let's say 10 seconds. So please make your choice. Yeah, we got around about 70% already of your answers. So another two seconds, <clears throat> two, one. Okay, that's it. I will stop it and show the result. So actually, to main needs, as you can see, smaller structures and any layer HDI, no interest today for copper coins, inlays and bus bars. Heavy copper, yeah, 8%, so not that much. That's really interesting because it totally differs from our German webinar, which I gave in the morning. There we had 0% for the multi-layers and we had like 40% for copper coins and inlays. That's yeah. really interesting that this differs a little bit. Thank you for that. So we will go on with the presentation. So here you see an example which we already manufactured for an automotive project. This was a headlight project, an LED headlight project where we embed a one millimeter thick copper profile in the FR4 built up. It's a four layer built up outside the area with the copper profile. And the copper profile itself is being contacted with a copper filled microvias to get the heat from the LED headlamps to the backside of the PCB. Another example for you, which unfortunately I cannot show yet some uh, real pictures because this is something which is being manufactured just at the moment where we go for the first time into the direction of IC substrates. This is a customer designed FC BGA panel. It's a four layer, any layer built up uh, with uh, copper filled microvias and 50 microns line space on the outers and on the inner layers. So this is something which is not in our with electronic standard portfolio at the moment, but we try to make it possible for you nevertheless. So you see, there is quite a lot of new options in the future coming to you. So the Advanced Solution Center is going to find uh, solutions for your PCB needs. We are checking if either our German teams can handle these projects and these technologies, maybe with slight modifications and adaptations to the standard technologies. If not, 
we are going to look for a partner to manufacture these PCBs on our behalf, and we will manage the PCB production. So we are still your contact and we basically act as the manufacturer for you. And your, yeah, your advantage is that you have fewer contacts with the PCB specific, specific questions because it doesn't matter which technology, you can come to us and we will try to find a solution for you. And therefore, this allows you to concentrate really what is essential for you. You do not need to find a manufacturer yourself, we will deal with it for you. And therefore, and with this, you benefit fully from our know-how and we will try to find the solution. And if we see there is not a way how this can be done in serious production, then we even advise you what you need to change that it can be manufactured in serious production, either by us or by a qualified partner. So thank you for your attention and I will give back to Andreas. Mm -hmm.